Uh, what a terrific football game. We're so worthy of a Rose Bowl. <laughs> it's, uh, I think about this group of coaches and kids and what they've been able to accomplish over a season and to put a stamp on it right here in the granddaddy of them all. It's been an absolutely great week. We thank the Rose Bowl for, one, giving us the opportunity to be here, uh, and then um, credit to these kids and to these coaches. They've, they did a tremendous job today. Um, Penn State, my hat is off to them. Them, what class organization. Um, Coach Franklin, what he's accomplished uh, with his group over the entire season. And then today, it was just two really, really good football teams playing at the highest level and competing until the absolute very end. And um, these kids that I've had the honor to coach, they're the definition of fight on. Um, whether it was a season or this game, it, this game kind of just signified what our whole season has been about never quit, keep competing, and uh, good things will happen to you if they do. With that, we'll take any questions that you have. Thank you, Coach. Please raise your hand. We'll have one in the back to start. Uh, Steve Finley, Corbin City News. Coach, you, you lost two of your best defensive players, mm -hmm. and you end up playing a little bit better. Mm -hmm. um, how did that happen, Coach? Well, I, I think one, I think they, when the when the time was right and we had to have a stop, um, we entrusted them to get it done. And what a big stop they made when we had to punt the ball with a little bit of three minutes and some change on the clock with three timeouts, just asking them to, to cowboy up one last time. And they did. And, and uh, they get a stop. We get in a two-minute drive. Um, offensively, uh, they've done it all year. They've been really good at situational football. And uh, they go down and we score. And then Leon McQuay, what can you say? A senior leader makes a huge play for us, one of the biggest plays of the season. And, uh, and then credit to Matt, when, when the time was right, uh, he came through in the biggest moments, and that's what great players do. Okay. Hello, Pat. Uh, Pat Forty from Yahoo Sports. I actually wanted to ask one question to Matt and one of Sam. Matt, for you, uh, your coach played to give you a relatively long field goal. Were you hoping that he was, you guys were going to try to get it a little closer, or were you okay with that distance? Uh, I wasn't concerned about the distance. Uh, I knew I was going to get an opportunity to kick that, that field goal, so where, wherever it was at, I was kicking it. That was, that was what my thoughts were. Follow up with Sam. Uh, on the last touchdown pass, you had an underneath route wide open. You threw it to the guy who was significantly less wide open. Did you just take us through that play and the throw to put it right on the money? <coughs> yeah. Uh, is that the, the touchdown to Tay? Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. So um, what Tay's actually supposed to do is he's supposed to keep a straight straight line, not necessarily on a post like that. Um, but, you know, just the player that he is, um, he made a play, and I saw him. So I'm happy I threw it to him and not the shallow. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. We'll go with the question in the back and the blue. <clears throat> Coach, uh, Bill Dahlman from KCBS. After the start to the season that you all had, how did you keep everybody together? How did you keep it focused so that you could finish this strong? Well, I think one, you got to believe in the people that you are around you. And, and one of the things I saw as we went from Alabama to Stanford, I, I saw improvement. I saw improvement from Stanford to Utah. We weren't getting the results that we wanted, but I saw the improvement. And, and I truly believe in this group of men that I'm surrounded by. Um, they're professionals, whether it's the coaches or the players, and the passion that they play with and the competitive nature that they have. You just knew if they kept competing like they would and eliminate the mistakes. I kept on telling them by November, you're going to be really, really happy. And then all of a sudden, we get a little confidence. We get some wins. We get some great defensive play in the second half, great offensive play, a quarterback that's just on fire. And then it just kind of snowballs. And um, very fortunate. A leader is only as good as the men that surround him. And I'm very fortunate to be surrounded by these men. We have a question right there. Yeah, Ken Allen, American Forces Radio. Uh, Matt, this is for you. That was definitely not a chip shot for the game-winning field goal. You're kicking for the entire season. What was going through your mind as you were waiting for the snap? My process is always the same. You know, stay true to my technique. It doesn't really make a difference how far it is. The ball still has to go straight. So just keep the same mindset, same swing. Game was on the line, but so you got to keep, keep true to your technique and trust it. OK, a question in the back. Coach, the way your season started this year, 
Tell us what this win means to your program. Um, I'm just very happy for a group of seniors that I've had the good fortune to be with for four and five years. Um, to have the opportunity to be seven years at USC and to watch these guys grow up, to watch them mature. I, I think of a guy like, like Mike Hutchings, who's our, who's our senior captain, and the roller coaster ride that, that he has been on and our seniors have been on, and they just kept on fighting. And now you, they guided us to a, to a Rose Bowl, and they've guided us to not only a Rose Bowl, but a victory bell and a shillelagh some special, special memories throughout the year. So um, I, I really think about the, the group of leaders we have uh, as our seniors. We have a question in the back left. Uh, Gary Paskowitz, we are SC. Mike, uh, Penn State out in the middle of the game, seven straight touchdowns, but you guys got two stops there at the end of the game, which really gave your team a chance to win. Talk about the mindset, what was going on in that huddle out there before those final two stops. Um, I mean, those two stops kind of – came down to everything that led up to, to this game, that led up to those two moments. Uh, going back when you start in the winter, in the spring, in the summer, and guys were, were playing for pride at that point. I mean, the score was close, but we knew we still had a chance, and there was a lot of time left. But I mean, we just took it snap by snap and playing for pride. And I mean, it, it, it became apparent. Uh, each play, uh, guys were coming in clutch, and uh, the guys up front were making plays. And I think just uh, Coach Helton just, just saying, give me one. Uh, after every after every play, just give me one. And I mean, all we tried to do was just give him a chance, and that's what we did. Can we have a question up front? Coach uh, Kurt Kretschmar, Fox Sports Radio. In the third and fourth quarter, did this feel like a home game? <laughs> with that crowd? I, I tell you what, I, I credit both sides. I, the energy in that stadium was so electric, and, and the play by both teams, uh, it felt like a tennis match. It was just going back and forth and back and forth, the mood swings and the emotion. And credit both teams. You know, we got up early, and there's Penn State coming back, and they do what they do uh, always, it seems like, in the second half. They come out really, really fast, and our guys just dug down and said, you know what, we're not going to get down. Let's just keep playing, keep playing. Um, and you look up, and those last two, those last two series, I have to credit the Trojan Nations. It was loud. It was really loud, and, and hopefully it affected them a little bit. We have a question in the back. I'm Steve Finley, Corpus City News. Matt, um, your father was a great kicker at UCLA, and you went to USC, and now you basically helped him win the Rose Bowl. What do you think your father's going to say tonight? Well, I already saw him. He's, uh, I think he's a little bit in shock. Uh, he, he did play here at the, uh, he didn't play in the Rosebud, he played in the Coliseum, but did play at UCLA. As far as seeing him right after the game, I could tell he's been crying, so I know how he's feeling. Hasn't really hit me yet, and I'm just happy I got the top opportunity to do so. We have time for two more questions. We have one in the back. Eric Geller, KCA Open Season. Have you folks been involved in a game like this where it was like a basketball game? It was an amazing game, I'm sure, for you guys watching it and being a part of it and for the fans. Can you talk about that? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, just to talk about the fans really quick. Uh, when, we're, when we're over in Penn State's area as an offense, um, we could barely get a snap off. You know, those guys, they were loud as heck, and um, our fans were too. But... Um, yeah, I mean, that was a back-and-forth game. Uh, you expect that with a team like Penn State. And, um, you know, we came out victorious, but Penn State's a really great team, and I just want to credit it to the seniors, um, what they've been through. Um, and to come out Rose Bowl champions um, in the end of it is really what means the most. The last question right there. Uh, Bob Butita, Ventura County Star. Uh, Coach Helton, can you talk a little bit about Sam's development this year and, and kind of the culmination tonight of an amazing uh, first season as a starter? Yeah, what, what ultimate game maturity this young man has as a redshirt freshman. And I love the quiet confidence about him. You know, you never saw his demeanor change. And I saw whether he was throwing a touchdown or whether we got stopped on offense, you never, you just never saw his demeanor change. He was so glued in and so focused at the task, task at hand. It was just so fun as a coach tonight to watch so many great players on the field perform. I think about Sam. I think about Barkley. I, I think about Burnett, both sides of Trace, both sides of the ball were just the greatest players shine brightest on the biggest stage, and both teams had it. And uh, whether it was our quarterback, whether it was their quarterback, or several skilled athletes, it was an amazing game. It's what fairy tales are made of. Thank you guys for joining us. Appreciate it.